let us go through the basic rules for the design of beams as per I, S4562000. 1. Beam Dimension a. Effective Depth The minimum effective depth of the beam can be taken as 1 over 10 of the clear span of the beam. b. Breadth The minimum required breadth should be between 1 over 2 to 2 over 3 of the total depth of the beam. Example If the span of the beam is 5,000 mm, the effective depth equals 1 over 10 times 5,000 equals 500 mm. If the effective cover of the beam is 40 mm, Beam depth equals effective depth plus effective cover. 500 plus 40 equals 540 millimeters. The minimum breadth equals 1 over 2 times 540 equals 270 millimeters. 2. Beam reinforcement. A. Minimum reinforcement. The minimum area of tensile reinforcement should not be less than as calculated by the formula. A. S equals 0 0.85. B. D over F, Y, where, A, S, minimum area of tensile reinforcement, D, breadth of beam, D, effective depth of the beam, F, Y, characteristic yield strength of steel, B, maximum reinforcement, the maximum area of reinforcement should not be more than 0.04, B, D. Example, if F, Y of steel equals 415, Minimum reinforcement, A, S equals 0 0.85, B, D, over F, Y. 0 0.85 times 270 times 500 divided by 415 equals 276.50 square millimeters. Maximum reinforcement equals 0 0.04, B, D. Equals 0 0.04 times 270 times 540 equals 5832 square millimeters. 3. Side face reinforcement. If the depth of the beam exceeds 750 millimeters, side face reinforcement should be provided along with the vertical faces on either side of the beam. The total area of reinforcement should not be less than 0.1% of the web area of the beam. Spacing between the bars should not exceed 300 millimeters. 4. Spacing of reinforcement. A. Minimum horizontal spacing. As per I, S456, 2000, the minimum horizontal distance between the individual bars shall be the maximum of the following three conditions. 1. Equal diameter bars. If all the bars spaced horizontally are of equal diameter, for example 20 mm, the spacing as per condition 1 is 20 mm. 2. Unequal diameter bars. If all the bars spaced horizontally are of unequal diameter, for example 25 mm and 16 mm, the spacing as per condition 2 is 25 mm. 3. Aggregate size. Suppose if we use a coarse aggregate of 20 mm size, the minimum spacing as per condition 3 is nominal size of coarse aggregate plus 5. 20 plus 5 equals 25 mm. Here, the maximum value in all three conditions is 25 mm. So, we have to consider 25 mm as the minimum horizontal spacing. If we use a coarse aggregate of 25 mm size, the minimum spacing will be 25 plus 5 equals 30 mm. Here, we have to consider 30 mm as the minimum horizontal spacing. B. Minimum vertical spacing. As per is 456, 2000, the minimum vertical distance between the individual bars shall be the maximum of the following three conditions. 1. Minimum requirement. In any situation, the minimum vertical bar spacing shall not be less than 15 mm. If the diameter of the bars is lesser than or equal to 12 mm, the minimum vertical distance shall be 15 mm. In this case, we cannot consider 12 mm as the minimum spacing. 2. Aggregate size. Suppose we use a coarse aggregate of 20 mm size, the minimum vertical spacing as per condition 2 is 2 over 3 times nominal size of coarse aggregate. 2 over 3 times 20 equals 13.33 mm. 3. Bar Diameter If the diameter of the vertical layer of bars is 20 mm, the minimum vertical spacing shall be equal to the bar diameter, that is 20 mm. 
out of all these three conditions, the maximum value is 20 millimeters. Here, we have to consider 20 millimeters as the minimum vertical spacing. Note, 1. Whatever might be the permutation and combination of conditions, in all cases you have to choose the greater value as a minimum spacing. 2. Minimum spacing is the clear span, not center-to-center -center distance, between the individual bars. 5. Deflection control. The vertical deflection limit of the beam should not be more than the values given below. A. For span up to 10 meters. Cantilever beam, the ratio between span over effective depth should be lesser than or equal to 7. Simply supported beam, the ratio between span over effective depth should be lesser than or equal to 20. Continuous beam, the ratio between span over effective depth should be lesser than or equal to 26. B. For spans above 10 meters. The span over effective depth ratio obtained above should be multiplied by 10 over span in meters. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you aren't missing out on any of the videos I upload. Also, I would very much appreciate it. If you gave the video a thumbs up, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed that and it has gotten some way to help you. I sincerely hope you understand the basic rules for the design of beams. Thank you so much, have a great day.